Okay guys, this is Fanchi and colorists don't talk enough about RGB mixer. Probably because it's an old tool. But don't worry, I did the homework for you. RGB mixer is a tool inspired by the technique used by the color timers to color an image only with the channel of red, the channel of green and the channel of blue. It doesn't seem like it this way, but if you know the RGB mixer, it can become one of the most powerful tool of your grading arsenal. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to use the RGB mixer to instantly improve your color grading. Fixing the color balance fast, faking light without using the relight OFX, and creating gorgeous black and white. Are you ready for this? Let's jump right in. So first, what I'm going to do is doing the color balance. I will switch to the RGB mixer in my panel over here and you have the red output, the green output and the blue output. And I will switch to my palette because it will be easier to know how much red, how much green and how much blue there is in my image. You can see that there's a lot of red. So what I'm going to do is going to the red output and go down with the red. There is not enough blue output so what I'm going to do is raise the blue to have an image that is balanced and so what we can do to verify what we've done is going to the waveform and see if everything is balanced and you can see we got a very fast color balance only based on the channel of red green and blue which helps us to have a better control over our balance to create a fake lighting effect what we're going to do is that we're going to create a node at the end of our node tree and we're going to right click go to composite mode and go to luminosity once you are here you're going to go to the rgb mixer and click on auto normalize on the three channel and you can move the reds you can move the greens and you can move the blue and you're going to see that we're going to rearrange the lighting in function of the red green and blue also to show you the example let's say that we want the focus to go on the wall behind him instead of him so what we're going to do is that we're going to raise the luminosity of the wall behind him for that i will use my blue output and i will raise my blue output and i will take my red output and go down you can see that we're going to have a very strong shift of lighting but everything will stay natural because because we are following the logic of the colors and the weight of the light in the image. This technique is pretty cool because you can relight a scene in a very natural way. So let's say I want my character to be really the focus of our attention. And so I can do that by raising his luminosity with the channel of red primarily and also compensating with the channel of green and the channel of blue. What is great compared to the Relight OFX is that you don't have any problem with the playback as it doesn't take as much GPU as the Relight effect. And finally, with the RGB mixer, you can create a very nice black and white and also relight the black and white with the RGB mixer without using luminosity. And so for that, you're going to go to your RGB mixer, put monochrome. When you put monochrome, it goes straight away to the black and white. What I'm going to do is grab a still of this image to show you the difference when I move my channel of red, my channel of green and my channel of blue. When I move my channel of red, my channel of green and my channel of blue, what is interesting is that I can bring back some elements I want in my image. So you can see that when I move my channel of green, I can take back some details for example in his shirt then it becomes quite convenient because I can pick and choose the contrast and how I want the density to act in my black and white and you can see a big shift of light and also details in the contrast which allows us to really tailor our black and white and make something really beautiful out of it. So this is all for me guys. I hope this helped and I hope you enjoyed the video. RGB Mixer is a superb tool on DaVinci Resolve so I really recommend you to use it and I see you for the next video guys. See you!